Hi all, I'm Lakin Mahapatra and today I'm going to present a tech video on PHP CI tool. So on the very first page you are watching a phrased live snapshot of PHP CI tool that I found uh, from my browser. So before entering into the topic, let me introduce all of you to the content. So the today's content is, uh, first uh, I will introduce myself, then uh, we'll know what is PHP CI tool and we'll know about the continuous integration workflow then why php ci is important for all php developers and then the default plugins that have been provided by php ci and why php ci uh, why should we choose php ci over other continuous integration tools and then we'll set up the linux machine set up uh, it on the linux machine then um, let me introduce myself uh, my name is Lakin Mahapatra. I'm currently working as a software engineer at Mindfresh Solution. And professionally, I'm a software engineer, but uh, personally, I'm a hungry coder and I love to code. And uh, on a daily basis, I'm trying to improve my code. Uh, I'm also uh, a cyber security researcher and I love to find uh, security holes in most of the websites and submit the bots or vulnerabilities to. Uh, the admin of the size in order to prevent it from being hacked in future. Then uh, I'm also a proud citizen of India and I love my country. And in my uh, opinion, knowledge can be improved in four ways. You know, one is explore, second one is gain, third one is implement. First, we need to explore, we need to gain the knowledge, then we need to implement it, and also, and then we need to share that knowledge. And in this way, knowledge can be improved. And sharing is caring, that's what I'm doing. I, I first explored something about PHP CI tool. I can the knowledge and I implemented on myself and then I'm sharing. And I and that's why sharing is caring. Uh, let me uh, tell you what is PHP CI and uh, CI uh, means what is the full form of this abbreviation CI. Is it core igniter? I think no. It's about uh, a free uh, open source tool. It's about a free open source tool, continuous integration tool, specifically uh, uh, designed for PHP. And uh, let me tell you about the continuous integration workflow. And before uh, telling uh, the continuous integration workflow, let me tell uh, what is continuous integration. Actually, continuous integration uh, is an application which runs certain quality check tools against your code. Creating an application is a different thing and keeping it to a certain quality level is another thing entirely. So these days you can find many tools which can help you to keep the quality of your application in check. Running these tools one by one can be very time consuming. So for that you need to install so called continuous integration services. And PHP CI is one of them and here the development team uh, suppose one developer is committing one change to the same and in the source control after then we are initiating one continuous integration process and it, it will start an automated building process which will find defects in our coding island or in the code and if uh, somehow the functionality is breaking it will report it, it will test it and then report it to the development team and in this way the whole process means the whole cycles the whole cycle continues and uh, for example a uh, continuous integration tool could pull in a JIT repository so when done it runs unit tests checks a code for validations and generates reports based on it in general a code uh, uh, a continuous integration runs on a certain time intervals on every push uh, the most seen situation is right after creating a merge request you know, by checking uh, the merge request, the code is checked before being merged, making sure you are not accepting code which could break functionality. So integrating code uh, continuous integration with your development uh, procedure can make sure that code is kept out of your development, out of your main repository, and you can validate automatically if everything meets your requirements before accepting changes. Then we will know why PHP CI is important for PHP developers. Do you have a project with lots of files? And if you have lots of files, then you don't have means uh, you don't have enough time to review each and every file's code 
and find where uh, the coding guideline is targeted. It's a it's a novel for uh, or it, you can tell it's a bottom level developer. Are you working in a team and are you uh, uh, are you uh, do you want to ensure that each developer in your team are following the coding guideline properly? If as and you don't need to uh, review each and every developer's file individually and for solving this uh, this problem we have this solution PHPCI. If you don't want to waste time for going through the code base and checking the code quality you can use PHPCI. Are you worried about the integration of PHP unit or uh, the testing tools, unit testing tools like PHP unit and Coception tools in a project then you need to install it individually and uh, run uh, the PHP unit uh, uh, you need to go to the project folder and then run the PHP unit test. So it will be means it will be very time consuming. Are you following a global PSR coding standards properly? You need to check. PHP CI can help you uh, for checking the PSR coding standards. Uh, you want to know where you have violated the coding standards by mistakenly among large chunks of codes. By means personal review if one uh, reviewer will be there and you will review your codes and by mistakenly we can we can forget where uh, you have uh, violated the coding standard but for an, uh, like an automated tool like phpci can detect each and every violated code chunks and it will report it to you and uh, do you care about n path complexity and cyclomatic complexity of functions yeah let me tell something about in path complexity what is in path complexity and what is cyclomatic complexity of functions mainly uh, you can tell uh, this is called uh, cyclomatic complexity the number of decision points in a file uh, total number of uh, decision points in a file is called cyclomatic uh, complexity so here uh, uh, for each decision point like if uh, we will assign one point so here for the function declaration one then for if and if else we are assigning one one point and here total number of cyclomatic complexity is 12 and the default means the threshold value is 10 threshold value of cyclomatic complexity inside one function is 10 and similarly for n path complexity i uh, am not making it so complex the total number of outcomes of a function is called total number of outcomes of a function uh, uh, total number of possible outcomes of the function is called n path complexity. Here, if we'll call this function foo one two, then it has uh, two statements. Like one if statement is there, another if statement is there. And each if statement has two number of possible outcomes. So here, the total number of possible outcomes is equal to four. So here, the n path complexity is four. But by default, we are uh, treating means we are taking uh, the n path complexity as 200. But uh, means the threshold value is 200. But if you will violate it, PHPCI will inform it to you. Let's come into our topic. Have you uh, missed some doc headers? Most generally, we are using some headers uh, in our files like uh, um, uh, the function headers, the class headers, the file headers. Sometimes, by mistake, we miss too. So, in order to check all those things, PHPCI uh, will be very helpful and it can detect whether you have missed any doc headers or not. And do you care, really care about number of lines of code inside a function or inside a class or inside one file? If number of lines of code will be increased, then it will be very difficult to maintain your code. So at that time, PHPCI can inform you about the lines of code. Do you want to refer the messy codes? Messy code means there will be a lot of very simple mistakes, very tiny mistakes will be there. Like the function length, uh, the function name is incorrect, like you are not following the standards correctly. Or the variable length uh, is very you know, big, something like that. And uh, uh, if you're uh, making the cyclomatic complexity, or uh, uh, yeah, you can say the impact complexity, it's also coming under the messy codes. Do you want to integrate all the required tools with a project on the fly? 
because whenever we require any tools we need to install it for each and every project in our project folder then uh, it's meet then we are meeting our requirements but here we can we don't need to uh, means integrate all those required tools on our project itself we can integrate it with php ci and run it once and it will do the same for all and the main thing is do you want to test every comment that your team makes passes your test and meets your standards whenever uh, one developer is committing um, one change and uh, if the developer is not following the coding standards properly and he has uh, made any violations then it will not allow that commit that change to be committed to the repository isn't it uh, quite interesting uh, these are the default plugins that has been provided by php ci uh, atom bot uh, corception composer ihc php linked mysql php core sniffer which will check uh, your psl standards php copy paste detector which will uh, uh, check whether you have any copy uh, copy or pasted code you have uh, copied the code multiple times and php unit which is a php unit testing tool like this then uh, we'll move uh, on to this fact like why we'll choose php ci over an alternative uh, continuous integration solution there are lots of continuous integration tools available in the market like jetkins or you can say travis ci or you can say bumbo but here php ci is completely written in php a very fast advantage and it's free it's open source and it's self hosted you know and uh, uh, it requires only a 2 minute setup you don't need to worry about the setup things it will take only 2 minutes and it's only designed for php and you can also use it for closed source projects and you don't need to do any configuration for testing the php projects while testing the php projects you don't need to do any configuration over here but for other uh, for jetkins you can say it's free and open source but its own uh, means you cannot set it up in 2 minute and it's not specifically designed for php and uh, it's not uh, it has not been written in php and you cannot test php process with zero configuration and same thing is for travis ci and uh, for bumbo also so i think php ci will be a very flexible continuous integration tool uh for php developers and it will be very easy to use let me show something how php ci works in my browser i will give you a live demonstration uh, i have my php ci tool i've set it up before let me show you how it works this is my php ci tool and uh, this is the sugar job and here uh, i have run one job before and it has found lot of mistakes in my code i can see show you like this is the php core sniffer and in the php core sniffer it will check how means uh, at which lines of code you have violated the coding standard so here white space found or uh, some if else line uh, whether curly braces will be on the same line as if or uh, it will be present in a new line similarly all these things will be there and this is a technical dev and here uh, you will find like uh, suppose you have added some comments like to do or to fix comments then it will add it over like you need to do this immediately it will be a reminder and php mesh detector will be a very helpful tool for you and here it will detect like uh, the variable length minimum variable length is 3 and here the variable length is dollar cs and some of the unused local variables like merchant config or email or device config and it should be removed and you can know it from here and here some variable length is very large and is telling our accessibly long variable lengths like this and uh, apart from this a uh, lot of features are available for php ci i will introduce it to you uh, uh, after uh, in the next video let me uh, move back representation uh, uh, 
uh, let's uh, uh, set up the PHP CI on a local machine. Uh, so the prerequisites is here you need uh, the minimum PHP version on the server must be PHP 5.3.8. It must be larger than that. And you must have open SSL support and uh, you know some of the uh, system functions like ex, es, ec and cell ex, ec function, execute function. And a web server you can have Apache or engines. And uh, we are assuming that you have installed Composer on your local machine or on your server, web server, and a MySQL server is required. Let's set it off on a local machine. What you need to do is first <coughs> you need to use Composer, and uh, uh, the best practice is to use Composer and uh, install it. In the project folder, see, I've installed Composer. Let us know how whether Composer is installed or not. Yes, Composer is installed in my local machine, and I'm in the project folder. You can see by www slash project. Then I will install. Uh, I will write the command over here. Composer create project, then block a PHP CI. And my project folder will be PHP CI test. See, now I will run the command. And uh, am I assuming? I'm assuming that uh, you have set up the virtual host. Let us first install the PHP CI test. taking some time actually this is started installing Okay, now it has installed uh, PHP CI on my local machine. You can see PHP uh, CI test, and inside that uh, it has uh, loaded, uh, downloaded all of these files from PHP CI. Then, what you need to do is we need to enter into PHP CI test cd PHP CI test. Now currently I am in the project folder, then what I need to do is, I will update uh, the composer dependencies. Composer install. Now it will uh, load all those dependencies. Then we need to run the PHP CI installer. Let's run the PHP CI installer. DOS slash console, then PHP CI, then install. So, first you need to enter your localhost, right? Localhost. Uh, then uh, you need to enter the database name, will be PHP CI test. Then you need to enter the username, root. Then you need to enter the password. Okay, I think uh, the password is wrong over here. Let me enter uh, for the second time. Uh, localhost, the host is localhost. Database name is PHP CI test. Then the username is root. Password is okay so here the error is uh, we have not set up the database PHP CI test so this is a uh, flow like while uh, installing PHP CI you need to create 
the database uh, uh, PSPCI test before installing it on a local machine. Let me go to my local host and I need to create one PSPCI test. Let me create it. Database PSPCI test has been created. Now what I will do is I will repeat the same process localhost and then uh, database name is PSPCI test then username is root password is ok now the P what will be your PSPCI URL here you will you need to give the URL as per your virtual host like dev uh, I will give HTTP dev dot PSPCI test I have uh, created the virtual host before and I will tell you how to create the virtual host PSPCI test uh, PSPCI test dot com then it's setting up our database <coughs> let's wait for some time I think it will be completed soon <coughs> ok now it's asking us for the admin email suppose I will write test dot test dot com is the admin email admin name is test admin password is test user account created now what you need to do is you need to visit this url dev.pspci.com on your browser and i have set up the virtual uh, host for this project and your virtual host should be pointed to this public folder remember your virtual host should be pointed to the public folder and before running uh, that url on your browser you need to do one thing you need to remove uh, the st you need to remove the dot dist extension from http actions here just go to your pspci test and the pspci test you will find go to the public folder because your virtual host will be pointing to this public folder and then in the http access dist just remove the dist extension now it is removed now st, ST access will work properly now we will go to our browser then type the URL dev dot pspci test .com. Now it's as uh, it has opened the admin panel. Here I will enter the username, the email ID that I have provided while installing pspci. And the password is test. I will log in. It will open the dashboard. So here in the uh, uh, admin option. You can know like you can add a project and you can manage the users you can manage the plugins while adding a project you can uh, select the zip repository or bitbucket or gitlab or you can give some remote url or you can do it on a local path or mercurial or subversion and then uh, here if you are using any zip repository you can use the private uh, keys uh, or if you are uh, testing it on a local then you can remove all those keys from here you can remove all those keys then uh, give the suppose I will test it in my local path and I will give <coughs> uh, the path as uh, jobs I want to say test some of the files and the project title will be jobs and I will save the project now project is saved as jobs then I will uh, click I can view the project no base because I have not uh, built anything I have not built anything so here uh, you will click on build now after clicking on build now you need to run the Chrome or you can choose the demo process uh, in the background so that all these things will be populated over here let me run the daemon use this command run the daemon on a local host that is psp daemonize php ci daemonize once i will click on it run and these things will be populated automatically 
you can see build log is being populated php code sniffer has started its work and here the quality trend will be seen yeah it has been populated and here is showing php mesh detector and here you can see some of the uh, uh, mesh things that have been detected by php mesh detector like the variable length or cyclomatic complexity and i have tried before that my function cyclomatic complexity was little bit more like uh, it was like uh, 18 or 19 have uh, means reduced it to 10 and some of the unused variables is shown yeah and if some variable name is uh, uh, means uh, uh, if it is an excessively long variable then it's showing to our this type of variables and this is uh, this code sniffer will check the code coding guideline styles and this will check your uh, means messed course and the cyclomatic complexity and path complexity and variable length and uh, excessively long variable length and all those things and there will be a doc header which can check your uh, uh, because I have not missed any doc header in doc header that's why it's not showing if you will miss anything then it will show you the doc header information that you have missed and technical depth I have not added any to do uh, comment so that's why it's not showing any technical depth over here and here the quality uh, lines of code you can see is showing logical lines 228 non commented lines 130 1360 you can see and here the quality trend is showing coception uh, we have not used any coception or PSP unit testing tools over here and uh, here is showing some PSP CS errors PSP CS warnings PSP image detector warnings. It's like uh, 24 PSP image detector warnings. PSP CS errors and all those things. It will show the quality of this project. And it's the branch master. You can use the ZTOP. And I will show how to pull the code from ZTOP in Coception and test it over here. It will be presented in next video. Uh, we return to the presentation. First, let us repeat the process how you will set up it on your local machine. Uh, go to the directory var slash www on your local machine. Then download the composer and I am assuming that you have installed composer. Then download the PSP CI tool. You can do it in two ways like you can directly download it in the composer. It will be best practice to do it because you can get the latest version. Otherwise you can get the latest zip file from their official website and unzip it. Here go to the newly created PSP CI directory and then after installing it then go to the PSP, enter into the pspci directory and install the composer dependencies by writing uh, composer install composer install then run the pspci installer using dot, dot slash console pspci install then you need to set set up one virtual host because ht access is working means has been set up inside the project so if you not uh, use virtual host then it will create problem and you need to um, and you cannot use a like localhost slash PHPCI, it will not work, the ST access will not work for localhost. But uh, if you have set it off in your uh, HTTP config, then it will work. But mostly it will be good if you will set up one virtual host and it will be pointing to the public directory. And here you need to set up the uh, rewrite rules to point to all non existence requests to PHPCI. And then use this command to build PSP, means after uh, building, uh, after clicking on build now the PSPCI you need to write this command PSP demonize PSPCI demonize and uh, uh, don't forget to remove the dot DIST from ST access because uh, by default is ST access is coming with dot DIST but you can uh, remove uh, that file does uh, uh, uses remove that extension from that file and then it will work properly then uh, you can also set the cron in the server like uh, open the cron tab and then uh, add the following command and here path to user slash bin slash php and here in the path to will be the path to your phpci project and write console phpci run builds and it will run the cron and build all those things automatically uh, within a certain intervals of time so it's not the end if you are excited to know how phpci is working how to uh, integrate it with zdog or bitbucket or uh, uh, if you are excited to know 
a lot of things like uh, uh, how different plugins are working in PHP CI, how to configure means here in PHP CI zero config is required for testing any project. But if you want to configure, then how you will configure it, and uh, how each and every uh, plugins are working with PHP CI tool, how to integrate your own plugin with PHP CI tool, and all these tasks and much more things are coming. So stay tuned to this channel and if you like my video then uh, subscribe it and uh, subscribe to our channel Mindfire and this tech video of PSPCI part 2 is coming soon with the setup on Mac. Thanks for watching my video. Thanks a lot.